it's also been an amazing experience when it comes to developing my creative talents and growing as an artist. Six people, including three children, are dead following a mass shooting at an elementary school in Nashville, Tennessee. The tragedy ended when police shot and killed the suspected shooter, 28-year-old Audrey Hale. Here's what we know so far about the incident, about Audrey, and about her suspected motivations. Now, the first thing I want to clear up is some confusion about Audrey Hale. You may hear or see reporting calling the shooter Aiden. According to police, Audrey Hale was transgender. Hale was born female, but sometimes went by the name Aiden and often used he, him pronouns. However, police are using the name Audrey and she, her pronouns in their communication. So that is what we're going to do here. Audrey also appeared to use her given name as well as Aiden sort of interchangeably and signed off on her last social media post before the shooting using both names. Our exclusive reporting reveals that there was extreme tension in the home about Hale's gender identity. A well-placed source told us that Audrey's parents, Norma and Ronald, refused to allow Hale to use he, him pronouns or go by the name Aiden, which may explain why the shooter used both names. The source added that due to Hale's religious beliefs, they also would not accept homosexuality. Police say that they found evidence indicating that Hale had even more violent attacks planned, including ones against family members. During a press conference, law enforcement said that Hale's parents saw her leave the house on the morning of the shooting with a red bag, which they asked about, but Audrey brushed off their question. Her parents believe she no longer had any access to weapons and was being treated for a, quote, emotional disorder, but investigators didn't expand more on what that was. She was under care, doctor's care, for an emotional disorder. Uh, law enforcement knew nothing about the treatment she was receiving, but her parents felt that she uh, should not own weapons. They were under the impression that was when she sold the one weapon that she did not own anymore. Chilling surveillance footage shows how this whole horrific day unfolded, beginning with Hale calmly parking her Honda in the parking lot of the Covenant Presbyterian Church at 9.54 a.m. CCTV footage captured the moment that the shooter, armed with two assault rifles and a handgun, shot through the glass of a locked door at the church to gain entrance to the adjacent elementary school. Hale, dressed in a white t-shirt, backwards red hat, and a tactical vest, prowled the hallways, appearing to search for victims. Seven minutes of security footage was withheld by police, and it was during those seven minutes that law enforcement says Hale murdered six innocent victims, the headmistress of the school, Catherine Kuntz, custodian Mike Hill, and substitute teacher Cynthia Peake, as well as three students, Allie Scraggs, William Kinney, and Evelyn Dykehouse, all just nine years old. In the face of these types of tragedies, we are always left wondering who does something like this and why. Now, to be clear, there are never simple answers to either of those questions, but here's what I can tell you. Audrey Hale was a former student at the Covenant School and Nashville Police Chief John Drake told media outlets that law enforcement believes she had some sort of grudge against the school. Police say Hale meticulously planned this attack. They found detailed maps of the school showing exactly how this would all unfold, as well as disturbing writings from the shooter, including a manifesto. No, we have a manifesto. We have some writings that we're going over uh, that uh, pertain to this day, the actual incident. We have a map drawn out of how this was all gonna take place. The manifesto is disturbing and gives a glimpse into who Audrey was. In an interview with CBS News, the chief of police said that Hale created a hand-drawn blueprint of her plans, adding that she, quote, had drawn it up almost like a cartoon character, even down to the clothes she would wear. Hale had previously attended a local art college in Nashville, and this moment where she happily accepted her diploma was used in a promotional video for the school. She even once spoke about her growth as an artist in an interview at an art showcase in 2022. It's been hard, but it's also been an amazing experience when it comes to developing my creative talents and growing as an artist. 
Now that burgeoning artist would somehow turn into a cold-blooded killer in just a matter of months, ending with the senseless killings of six people and the loss of Hale's own life. Hale was shot and killed by two officers, Rex Engelbert and Michael Colazzo, and her death was captured on the officer's body cams and then released to the public. The officers discovered the shooter on the second floor of the school and she first shot at them before they returned fire, killing her. According to Hale herself, it seems that that horrific ending to her plan was actually part of it. Shortly before the shooting, Audrey Hale posted a disturbing message on social media and privately reached out to a friend with a series of haunting comments. She wrote of her intentions to die and adding in all caps that it wasn't a joke. Hale said that her family was unaware of what she was about to do and that she, quote, left behind more than enough evidence. That concerned friend immediately turned those messages over to police, and that friend also told CNN that Hale had suffered from suicidal ideations in the past. As for the evidence that she spoke of in her note, I already mentioned the manifesto and the maps, but Daily Mail also obtained this exclusive footage of FBI agents removing several more weapons from her home. Law enforcement says that the shooter owned seven firearms, which were all legally purchased. Investigators do have a theory about Hale's motive for this mass shooting and promise to make that public as soon as it is confirmed. Now, with these types of stories, they move very quickly and new facts are constantly emerging. So that could already be public by the time you're watching this. So make sure that you check back to DailyMail.com for the latest.